In this video, we'll see how to calculate the percentage of different types of vehicles which are registered all across India and they have been divided into the percentage wise based on the states. Let us see that. So first of all, I have created a workbook named as India map vehicle registration because I'll be showing you based on the India map and I've given some title that is vehicle registration state wise. Let us see. Now for that, you need some database. I have created a database in Excel where I have the names of all the states and I have numbers of vehicles registered. I'll show you that database here. So I have the names of all the states and union territories, total 29 states and 7 union territories. These are total 36 uh, names which are given. The number of vehicles which are registered, if you see the lowest one is 68 and the highest one if you see 112213. These are the numbers of vehicles re registered. What is the type of vehicle? Is it a two wheeler or is it a four wheeler or they are both different types. So I've written all of them into this separate uh, file itself. So what you can do is you can download this Excel workbook below this video itself. So let us see how to create an India map and based on the percentage how I'll be showing you. Though these are the numbers but I'll be showing you how to work on the percentage based on the state wise. Let us see that. So I'll go back to my uh, tab view before going this. Remember the name of this uh, Excel file is vehicle registration details and I'll go to tab view and I'll click on this connect to data Excel and I'll select as vehicle registration details and click on open. Now if you see the data has already been come here the same data that is state vehicle registration and the vehicle type I'll click on this sheet I have already renamed this sheet that is a vehicle registration state wise. Now, first of all, when you import the data, if you observe this state and union territory, now it is imported as a geographical thing. So what you have to do is you have to just double click on this place. And if you observe, there's some map which is go given here, but it is not the correct. Uh, I want India map, which should be displayed. But if you observe on the right hand side bottom, they're showing us 36 unknown. The reason is because there are 29 states and seven union territories, total comes up to 36. So it is saying as 36 unknown. Why it is unknown? Let me find out. If I click on this place, I'll get a dialog box. It says edit location, filter data. So I'll say edit locations. And if you observe, there are 36 things, 36 issues which are given. What are the issues here? If you observe the names of the data, uh, names of the states and union territories, which I imported from Excel, it is not matching with the locations in tab view. So if you see, therefore it's saying, saying as unrecognized. What is the root cause of this? Why it is saying as unrecognized? Because the country which I have the data, this, the, the states which I have, it belongs to India. But here it is selected as United States. So I'll just click on this drop down, select this option and I'll type here as India. Select this India, select this. And if you observe now, I have only four issues, whereas the other issues have been gone away. Why I'm having these four issues? Because the names which I'm displaying here are not the same which are in the matching locations. Sometimes there might be many reasons. One is the spelling mistake in your database. Second thing is the names might keep on changing every now and then of different states. So you have to make sure the names of which are picked up should be matching with the current name itself. So right now if you see DNN Haveli which is said as. So what exactly is DNN Haveli? Uh, the full form is Dadar and Nagar Haveli. If I pick up this and if you see that's a full form Dadar and Nagar Haveli. So they have selected this option. Same way, if you see Daman and Diu, the names are correct, but the AND symbol is not correct. So I have to click on this place and I have to type as D-A-M-A-N. And if you see Daman and Diu, now it is correct. So the AND symbol is not working. Same way, AN Islands, that is nothing but Andaman and Nicobar. Andaman and Nicobar, I have selected that. Same way, the Chhattisgarh, there's a, some spelling mistake, so I'll type as C-H. And if you see, there's an option given as Chhattisgarh. Okay, so I've selected the option here. Now if you see the issues have been gone away and now they are correct. And now I'll click on this OK button. Now if you observe, I'm getting a only India map here. If you see that's the India map here, but I'm getting some dots on this place. It is saying these are the names of the states. I mean, these are the state locations which are given because if you observe the detailed part, I've got the state and union automatically. So I didn't do anything in this place. What we are working is we want vehicle registration state wise. So if you want state-wise vehicle registration, if you see there's a vehicle registered, it is in the measures part. So I'll pick up the measure and put into the colors part. Now if you see, it says light blue color, dark blue color. What it says, the darker the color, it says the highest registration. 
the lighter the color it is saying lowest rate ray registration now if you observe here there are darker colors which are given in this two states i know the name of the state is maharashtra and the name of this state is is tamil nadu here so i can understand that but if you are looking for the first time what you have to do is you have to give the names of this particular states so i'll pick up the state and union territory and put into this labels part now if you observe here i'm getting this maharashtra so this regions has the highest vehicle registrations if you observe here but i want to find out what the numbers of you know vehicle registered so for that what you have to do is you have to pick up this vehicle registered and put into the labels so along with the state name i can show you what are the numbers of vehicles registered so i'll pick up and drop so if you see here and i need to maximize i'll just click on this plus sign like this and if you see in maharashtra 125000 numbers of vehicles are registered and that it has the maximum so if you see the other places it has the lowest one if you observe these are the lowest uh, vehicles which are registered now i want to calculate in the form of a percentage so if you want to find out the percentage you have to do the quick table calculations so i'll just click on this sum of vehicles registered if you see the third one which i have it is nothing but a text click on this drop down and you can select this option as quick table calculation i have to select as percentage of total so select percent of total and now you can easily find out the number of vehicle registered the percentage in maharashtra is 11.74 in andhra pradesh it is 6.89 in orissa it is 2 percentage it is very easy to find out the last thing which i want to tell you the color if you want to make some different colors so i'll just click on this pin button it will come back to normal if you want to change the color at the background whatever the colors are given select this option color edit colors select this drop down select the option as any option sunset and sunrise apply and if you observe the colors are different now i'll just click on okay now you can just present and it is very easy to analyze data rather than showing in the excel sheet itself you can show this data click on this presentation mode now you can see the highest percentage you can say this one is the highest percentage because if you see the color which is given in this place is the highest one i am not able to see the name of this particular place so i can just click on this plus sign here like this and now i can say maharashtra 11.74 so it is very easy to identify so i hope you able to understand how to calculate the percentage of numbers of vehicles registered all across india state wise that's all for this video